So let's get straight down to business by taking a check on the teams. And Conor Hurahan has been the star man for Barnsley so far this season. He has scored some absolute beauties and at times has carried this team. James Bree only turned 17 yesterday. They have high hopes for him around here. He's hoping to follow in John Stone's footsteps by going from Barnsley youth level right to the very top. Devante Cole is the son of Andy and is looking to make a name in his own right. Peter Ramage and Martin Craney provide the experience at the back. Bradford City's diamond has been sparkling at times this season away from home and Phil Parkinson reverts to that shape again. Mark Yates has benefited from playing in that position. He's a really good passer who can see things and learn plenty during his time at Watford under Gianfranco Zola. Billy Clark will drop into space and try and cause Barnsley problems alongside Aaron McLean who is getting sharper by the week and is looking to write his name all over this derby. Keith Tracy is on the Barnsley bench, fresh from getting married on Friday. Leroy Lita is also amongst their backup. There's still no James Hansen for Bradford City. So a quiet Sunday afternoon in Barnsley, but that piece is about to be shattered by the sound of a Yorkshire derby. Two of League One's big hitters staring into each other's eyes as West Yorkshire walks on to South Yorkshire soil two clubs which have seen better days they are just memories now but they're hoping to get back to where they once were absolutely and the only way that, that comes about is through hard work diligence practical aptitude to what they want to do with the club and with the team and plenty of belief and patience from the fans Sun shining brightly now on Barnsley which is shrouded in mist earlier today Bradford City on the move, and this is the clever Billy Clark. Oh, Kennedy, early chance, early goal for Bradford City. That is the start they dreamed about. Well, we said about all the spice in the Yorkshire derby. Bands have just not woken up. It's been a fantastic move through the through the first for Bradford. And a wonderful finish by Kennedy at the end, very composed. As we said, it's a standing formation where players are allowed to pick the ball up in space. Clark there in back in the and lays a great ball into Kennedy and it's a fantastic first time finish wonderful feet from Yates and again composed when he gets in the area Jason Kennedy a, will a willing runner in this diamond formation for Phil Parkinson took his goal with a plum well he is enjoying his football again enjoying playing every game for Bradford City didn't have the best time last year aware of that This year. And Sheen again. Always pick out a cross, can always deliver with that left foot of his. A wonderful delivery from both open play and set pieces from Alan Sheen. Not the best just then, but I'm sure next chance will make the better of it. Lovely skill from Devante Cole to get himself out of a tight spot and open up the pitch. There's Nyatanga. Horahan. This is Berry! Causing problems for Jordan Pickford, but Pickford came over the answer. I know it's normally Horahan that's striking from distance, but it's a great strike from Berry here. Works the angle well. Great work from Horahan, pulls off his man. It's the first touch, is a great first touch, which sets him up for a, a cracking attempt on goal. Pickford up to the task, though. Slight deflection there, so he's got to maintain his concentration, the goal. We again, plenty of time to measure this. Got through here to Devante Cole. That's a great block from Davis. A wonderful block from Davis to get in front of Cole's effort. This is Barnsley building back into this game. Even something as simple as a quick throw in there from Bray got them moving quickly, and Bradford were ready for the one-two. McLean making life awkward for Craney. There's Yates. Now Sheehan. This formation allows the fullbacks to get a lot of the ball in very good wide positions. Oh, it's a left back in a wide position. Alan Sheehan is right foot's not as good as his left. No, I wouldn't say it's just for standing on, but yeah, when you've got a left foot as good as his, it does put the right in the shade. Nice switch from Horahan.
Here's Horahan again. Horahan from distance. That's his territory. I'm sure Pickford might have something to say about this, about the, the closing down. We know he can score from distance. We know he's got a wonderful left foot. Kennedy there. Close as he can with a half a yard, but... The collision with his own goalkeeper. Such an important part of this Bradford City team, though. Andrew Davis, they were without him for a long, long time last season. And well, they only won once and kept one clean sheet without it. There's Winnell. Another who scored from distance during the week against Oldham in the Johnson's Pay Trophy. Just goes to show if you sometimes players seem through a fresh pair of eyes or a new pair of eyes, get a whole new lease of life. There's a player who always has a, a picture in his head. He's always on the spin, looking around Billy Clark and scored plenty of goals in pre-season. Not so many since the campaign's kicked off, but he's a creator-in-chief. This is win for Barnsley! A good effort, but maybe a, a slight bit of overplay there for Andrew Davis at the back. Sometimes it's just better to clear it. It's open up for Winnell. Well within his rights to take on the shot there. Horan's dismay. And it is a fair reflection on the half. Bands have really kind of snapped into life after the Bradford goal, but Bradford is still there. Playing well, he's got little bits of passing. Looking to build. One attempt on target from Bradford City, but the big attempt after 45 seconds from Jason Kennedy. Here's Winnell. Horahan. Sam Winnell. Horahan picks up the baton. Winnell moves the ball on. And denied by Jordan Pickford. We have to be sharp and alert. Winnell's done so well there. Fantastic. I was about to say he was doing too much of his work out here outside of the box. But see, plays it into Horahan. Doesn't, doesn't stop. Carries on his run. Horahan picks him back out again. It's a fantastic head. We know he has a wand of a left foot, Connor Horahan. It's in his mind here. Nightang has made a late run forward. Came towards Nightang. The late run paid off. And Oakwell shakes to the sound of Barnsley joy. He's again a wand of a left foot and he's put it on a plate there for Nightang. Slightly delayed element of his run, probably caught Bradford by surprise. Waited until he's made his way from the back. Fantastic ball in and a great little header. Just perhaps, but that slight bit of the unexpected by taking a while to run up. I'll tell you what, he's put McArdle off there. McArdle's claiming that it was manhandled by Nightanger, but... Look at that final touch, it's what killed him. Unlucky. It's a great pace to get away, initially from Kennedy. Great feat to get the ball out and away from danger. Really good effort from Winnell, and that is pretty much the spot where he scored against Oldham that kind of distance during the week. It's a recurring theme of this Barnsley team, having wonderful efforts on goal from very, very far out. Works his opening, good strength there to Oldham for the defender. I was mentioned at half time that about how many times at that. Ramage, a bit of space here for Barry. Horahan, right hand with the off on the far side. Here is the left back, looking for Winnell. Beautifully created by Barnsley, and now it's they who lead this Yorkshire derby. It's a wonderfully worked goal. Right from the minute the loop, Barry gets his early ball in from Ramage in a wonderful pocket of space. Also the 18-yard box. Great vision from that from Horahan to see Nightanger. And again, a good ball into the box. Wendell's on his toes, he's on the run. Hard and low, goalkeeper gets a hand to it, but he's got absolutely no chance. As I said, it's the willingness to get forward, it's the energy from Barnsley that's got themselves back into this game.
Well, he did it time after time at Scunthorpe last season. He's made the step up. Clock. He's kicked out Yates. That's what's breaking down for Bradford City, and now it's Williams for Barnsley. There's Bree. Cole, Bree wants it back. This is Berry. Now it's Horahan. And they've linked it nicely here, Barnsley. And denied by Pickford. Sam Winner was hunting a second. Oh, that's a good save by Pickford, but again, really, really well worked by Barnsley. Patient build-up, using both sides of the pitch. Switching the ball with both purpose and pace. Slipping as he launched that forward. I don't think the Bradford fans noticed it then. There's Bree. Devante Cole to his right. This is Cole. Winnell again moves towards that near post, trying to move away from his defender. And then you've got Cole there whipping the ball into the box. He's shown great enthusiasm to get out and help. He wants to be on the end of these crosses getting thrown into the box. McBurney. Williams. Cole, being held off by Davis, who goes to ground and Cole's away. Williams is there for the pullback. Cole, and fired wide. Sam Winnell again. It's a corner. Great strength of perseverance here from Cole. Andy Davis is no, he's no slouch and he's not, he's not a weak player either, but shrugs him off. And fired into the crowd of bodies. Good block at the end of it. One last big effort from Bradford City. Ramage with the header. There's Hemmings. Could be another in this for Barnsley. It's Conor Hudahan. And now it's Hemmings! The perfect end to the perfect day for Barnsley! Wrapped up perfectly there. And he wasn't showing too much emotion, but inside of the absolute buzz in the fact that Barnsley have Come back from that very, very early goal, managed the game well, attacked well, attacked with purpose and energy. No more so than here. Fancy Horan to take it on there. It's initially a good tackle from Mikado, but a great finish from Hemmings. I think when you are in that position where you're 2 1 down, you throw them forward, you are susceptible to the counter attack. It's a well taken goal by Hemmings. You've been hypercritical, you might think the people might get a little bit more on that, but it just goes to show Stafford jumping around behind him, but Danny Wilson there keeping a semi-straight face about how he's gone about this game and his delight in the fact that they've obviously wrapped up the three points now. A near perfect 45 minutes from Barnsley. The Barnsley flag is flying again. This place is roaring again. Today, Yorkshire belongs to Barnsley. They've beaten Bradford City by three goals to one.